We are one body in Christ. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 27. All of you together are Christ's body and each of you is a part of it. Paul was using the analogy of human body and was explaining the nature of people's relationship within the church. The human body has many parts of which some are noble and some ignoble that needs more attention. However, all of these parts are connected by the head which enables the smooth functioning of the whole body. In the same manner, within the church, some were Jews, some were Gentiles, while some others were slaves and others free. They were all united together as one body in Christ. Christ is the head of the church and the rest of the people are parts of the body. Though we are many, we are one body in Christ. There is no distinction and there cannot be since God does not show favoritism. He treats everyone the same. All of us are broken, whatever race and ethnicity we belong to. We all have fallen short of the glory of God and we need God to restore us. Those of us who are believers and not have become disciples practice discrimination based on several categories. Precisely, it is to do with the caste, color, ethnicity, racial identity, and geographical locations. Jesus broke all such barriers and served everyone. He taught his disciples to do the same. If we are his disciples, we sure need to follow it. If we have a different way of it, then we have nothing to do with Jesus. Discrimination causes divisions and creates chaos. Our God is a God of order. For the proper functioning of the human body, the head plays the key role. With Jesus as our head in the church, we should never have any functional problem. But if we have any, we can be sure that the head is not Jesus. Remember, we are one body in Christ. Amen.